you could fly a kite with our shoes off, boss on the boom box, weather never too hot. Oh god. I swear to god, this week between Christmas and New Year is just it's literally just like a what the fuck week. You don't even know what day it is, like and it's just the time where I try and demolish all of my Christmas sweets and I just feel sick. I wasn't even hungry. I went and made myself a cup of tea so I could have more biscuits and it's just, it's not a look. I'm gonna go to bed. It is, my phone is dead. It is 10 past one. I'm a late riser and a late going to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. Um, I know this video's just started. Hello. I'm gonna show you a little nighttime routine. <sighs> I don't know why. I just want to film some ASMR segments, I think. So I need to have a conversation tomorrow, actually. There's some questions I need to ask, but it's not the time. <sighs> Good morning. I need to go out. I have a task today. I don't know if you've seen them books on TikTok where it's like loads of gift cards for a present. Well, it's my dad's birthday on New Year's Eve and he doesn't really want anything. I usually get him like his t-shirts from Ralph Lauren and stuff because he does like them um, but he's got so many from me just me and Brad over buying them over the years because we don't know what to get him and he doesn't want that so i thought he likes experiences with his girlfriend Teresa. so i thought on doing him one of them gift card books i think he'd really like it if you don't know what it is it's basically a book um i'm obviously going to do a scrapbook self-explanatory but people are doing like photo album books and stuff and you put so basically like you think, pick which you pick like an amount you want to spend and then you split it up into different gift cards so in here i would put like um to dad this is going to be like the front page and i'll have like to dad happy birthday lots of love demi and brad because my brother's put money towards this present as well because we just thought it would be the best thing and then on each page i'm going to design this page in theme with what the gift card is so this could be like get yourself a coffee on me and then it could be like a 10 pound starbucks gift card for when he wants to grab a coffee so i'm going to fill this full scrapbook i got this little scrapbook in a charity shop for a pound and i'm absolutely buzzing it's perfect for this task um and as the main present at the end i've gotten him and his girlfriend Teresa an overnight stay in manchester with a um what do you call it like a so there's this bar in Manchester, which is a cocktail bar, but it's like a prison. So you wear like orange overalls when you go in and it's kind of like a prison theme. Anyway, it looks really good. And I think him and his girlfriend, Teresa, would really like it. So that's going to be at the very end of the book. But I need to fill the rest of the book. So it's his birthday tomorrow, so I'm a bit late with this. But it's because his birthday is between Christmas and New Year. Um... And I always just like I'm a bit late with it but I'm gonna go out grab all the gift cards that I think you would like and make the book that's my task for a day to be honest I'm not like it's the 30th of December it's one of them days in between where I'm still like yeah so that's my task I want to get done the day 
I was thinking, did TK Maxx do sales? Because I absolutely loved their Christmas stuff. And with the Christmas money that I got, I might go and have a look. I mean, to be honest, I don't need anything. I got absolutely spoiled and I've got everything I could possibly need. But you know, just when you think of things and I'm like, hmm. Also, what do I think of the jumper? This is the jumper my mum got us for Christmas. It's like a, why have I got fucking socks in there? What the fuck? It's like a vintage style dog one to be honest i love it i feel about 50 but i love it right i'm gonna put the coat on because it's freezing i need to grab my handbag and i'm gonna go probably to asda and home bargains to see what gift cards they've got i've got a really bad head today i'm just not feeling great um this is just another spray i'm spritzing i think i'm gonna make a nice coffee before i go essentials <laughs> Oh, bit too much syrup in that one, but it's fine. I've saved ridiculous amounts of money since I started making iced coffees in the house. I rarely go to Costa or Starbucks now. Let's just say I'm a genius. I literally think it is such a problem with our generation, though. Like, my mum and nana never go to Costa or Starbucks. Like, they'll go in with me on a rare occasion and my grandma, but it's not, like, a thing. Like, my mum would never be in the car and just think, I'll pop to Starbucks, where like I do. Like, I used to. It was like a really bad habit. I feel like our generation are just so, well, me. I can't speak for the full generation, but I know it's a lot of like my friends and that too. We're so dependent on like convenience, aren't we? But like now I make coffees in the house to save myself a fortune. Right. I've got some bags. I think I might go a little as well because they've got their vegan veganuary range and it's meant to be good i'm so good at remembering my bags all the time now you know why should i be proud of that but i am proud of that because i know there's still people out there who forget to bring their reusable bags and need to buy them and i'm just like <clears throat> got the bag this is very much just like a random vlog i actually need to ask you about videos <sighs> the house feels so bare there's stuff all over still i just feel Oh, right. Let's go. Home bargains. Get the gift cards. I could do with some more scissors as well because when we've been wrapping Christmas presents, my scissors from the craft room are not in the craft room anymore. I have scissors all over the house, but I could do with another pair specifically for the craft room. Before I'd done my scrapbooking and my adult colouring and all the different crafty bits that I like to do now, like what the fuck did I do? I literally done nothing. And reading and audio books, like I didn't do any of that like a year and a half, two years ago. I literally just sat on my phone. And it just wasn't healthy for us at all. Like I'm trying so hard to be more mindful with my time. And for me that's crafting, colouring in, like little things that help my mental health so much more than just sitting on my phone um and me and sean are playing games this year like i don't know if you watched my what i got for christmas but he got us a game called nostalgia and we've really been loving it and we've said sean gets four days off work a week so he does like a four on four off shift and we've said that on at least one of these four nights we're going to try and make it a bit of a resolution to play games together and like just use our time more interactively together like it's so easy to fall into the habit of both sitting there on your phone um, or even watching a film or something on Netflix is fine but it's like not interactive really is it because you're both sitting there watching um, and I've really been enjoying playing the games and waiting he has too and it's just something we're never done so I'm just trying to be more mindful with my time and actually spend it in a way which I think's more which is better um, but yeah so like crafting I need some scissors for the craft room I'm gonna have a look around home bargains and then I'm debating going a little because I've seen on Facebook that they've got all of their vegan range in and I'm sure they only bring their vegan range in for like the first few weeks of like January I mean I know we're not even in January yet but I'm sure they have it there now and I'm like do I go and pick up some things that I want and freeze things that I'm worried they might not have in stock and to be fair the food shopping in the house is a little bit not there most of the food we got in for the christmas and stuff is not there anymore so we are literally like searching in the cupboards every time we want to eat something so i could do with going a little and to be honest i've just got a really bad headache the day like a really stiff headache that i just ugh, it's making us not want to do anything
because her and my dad don't have access to a car at the minute and my dad usually does our shopping so i just got her some essential bits she doesn't know i'm coming but i was getting myself some shopping and i thought she might need some bits so i picked her up some things i'm just gonna pop into hers give them to her and then i've got two more shops to go to for gift card i am back home i'm gonna show you my shopping i went to little let's put the big light on i went to little and herons i'll show you what i got in herons first call me the milk bargain queen three of these alpro milks for a pound and the date is on them the date on them is the end of january which is fine for me like i'll i'll get through these i then also seen these three for a pound so i thought i'd try them they're like cans of coffee so i got an oat latte one oat chai latte and another oat latte some tin foil kitchen roll i seen this just as i was leaving it's like a vegan junk star truffle flavor meal so i got that this from fabulosa smells like lush fairy you know the fairy thing that lush do it smells so good because we actually have the washing up um laundry liquid up here this is what i've been using and it smells exactly like the snow fairy from lush so I decided to pick up the freshener version as well. Little tomatoes and milk for Sean. Smiley faces. I got this cheese, vegan cheese. It was £1.49. And then it was two of these for a pound. So I picked up the dreamy lemon one and the creamy caramel. And then I also picked up these as high value treats for the dogs. And they were a pound. Moving on to Lidl. If you're wondering, do I pop into Lidl to have a look at their vegan range? I would say yes. I'll show you what I got, as well as some bits for Sean. Sean loves chicken thighs, so I got him a pack of chicken thighs. I got these. I love anything prawn cocktail, and when I looked at the ingredients, they're vegan. And then these, I love any snack that I can just shove in my bag and run out the house. And these are obviously, like, fruit snacks, so I got some of the strawberry ones, some of the strawberry and banana, some of the pineapple, and some of the mango and passion fruit ones. I got a bundle of these. I then also got this big bag of frozen sweet corn. I'm loving sweet corn at the minute, so this is just going to come in so handy. I got the plant-based fish fingers, the plant-based chicken burger. I got this sauce for Sean because I thought it would go nice with his chicken because he really likes this style sauce. I then also got this like vegan ravioli. Sean loves this moussaka. If you like moussaka, he said that this is absolutely unreal, so I just got one of these for him. I got some cleaning sponges. I then also got this vegan spread. It's like a vegan patty. I had them last year and I really liked them. This marble cake, which I've got loads of sweet stuff in the house, but I'm just going to freeze it because I thought I'd buy it while I seen it in case little take it away because they're so good at bringing stuff out in January and then just taking it away. And then I got these pies. We had them um, around the Christmas and they were really nice. I got shown some Kievs for the freezer. I got these carrot tortilla wraps. I then got shown these little pies, um, steak and blue Stilton, I think that's a cheese. I then got these um, plant-based meat, plant meat-free meatballs filled with ketchup. I got two packets of these. I then also got this, it's ganoshi. Um, I really loved the pesto one last year, so I got two packs. I then also got two packs of the vegan bacon, and then I got one of these vegan tortilla things. Uh, I scored over one very similar to this and it's lovely so I thought I'd try Lidl's, a birthday card for my dad and a toothbrush. That's me little shop. Right, it's half ten. I finally finished dad's present. I'm going to show you a video on the screen of the finished scrapbook.
hard to print the last voucher um but i think he's really gonna love it i'm gonna go back to work tomorrow it's like new year's eve but after i've gone to see dad i'm gonna pack some scrap shot orders and kind of like work when sean's at work i like to work and um yeah he's at work tomorrow evening so i'm end up going to be doing some work i wanted to talk to you just quickly about going into the new year what type of videos you want us to do this year i started off the air doing weekly vlogs and i really love doing vlogs vlogs are like what i love filming the most and editing and i just think it gives us more creative control but um as the year went on my videos became more and more vlogs so i stopped posting the weekly vlogs and did three vlogs a week um just because I found the videos which I would like pre-plan out for example the like going to Bon Marsh is it really for old people like that video test and that um the come shop with me videos have always done very well but other than that like other what I would say are more like structured planned out videos tend to just not be as popular as my vlogs so I carried on just doing vlogs but like going into the new year like what type of videos do you want to see do you want to see like charity shop videos charity shop challenges do you want to see more challenge videos uh beauty challenges do you want to see clothing hauls like what is it you actually enjoy watching these days personally for me I watch a lot of vlogs I do like the odd challenge um but yeah it would just be interesting to hear your feedback and what you would like to see going into the new year Anyway, I am going to love and leave it here. I'm not going to see you this year again now. I will see you in 2024 when I have my first upload. Thank you so much for all the support this year. It's truly meant the world. I wish you all a very happy new year. I hope you have a great day no matter how you spend it. And I'll see you shortly for another one. Bye.